Hello everyone, this is Shalini Kapila and today we will have lots of fun and lots of knowledgeable things we will study. So let's start it. Simply uh, I'll ask some simple question. Whenever you go to a park to play or go to a garden for walking during spring seasons, you observe that different plants are full of different flowers and beautiful flowers. Na? So, have you ever thought about that? Uh, what is the function of these flowers? Why are so colorful? Have you ever thought about that? No? So, let's find out why the flowers are their own plants and what is the function of these flowers. Okay, so let's start. So, with starting, uh, I will uh, tell you that there are two kinds of flowers. One is monoecious and second is dioecious okay so monoecious means one the flowers which have both male and female parts in it okay male and female parts are present in only one flower the flower that has both genital organs these those flowers are called yes monoecious flowers just like we can say rose flower okay male and female parts are in only one flower Okay, next is dioecious flower. So dioecious flowers means two, means the flowers which have only one genital organ or you can say only one gender that is male either female only in one plant or in a one flower. Okay, so those flowers which have only one genital organ in it male either female that flowers are called yes dioecious flowers okay for example you can say papaya okay pine these are uh, dioecious flowers these have only you can say example is dates date palms these are dioecious flowers these are dioecious plants the male and female parts are present on different flowers on different plants okay so these are dioecious flowers so today we will learn that what are the parts of flower and what are the part the different functions of these different parts of a flower okay so let's first part i'll show you the one flower i have a rose flower okay so i'll show you through the little zoom it okay so you can see this one is you can see now this stalk like structure okay this is what is this this is called pedicel okay so you can see this is pedicel pedicel means the part which joins the flower with the main branch with the main plant okay that part is called pedicel after that you can see this swollen part this one okay so this one is you can see this one okay so this one is pedicel pedicel means the swollen part it helps to enclose bind together all the flowers okay next one is this one na? you can see green leaf like structures na? this one okay i'll show you this one na? okay so this is are calyx yeah or you can say it's sepals no? calyx or sepals i mean uh, they both are the same synonyms so these are sepals sepals you can see during in bud conditions when the flower is underdeveloped the flower is enclosed different parts of uh, flowers are enclosed in this calyx so calyx you can say it helps to bind all the parts together in one place okay so next you can see different colorful structures now uh, i'll show you this one you can see na? these all are what you say yes these are petals you can see different petals are there different colorful petals are there like yellow green uh, orange pink white so variety of colors are there of these petals these petals are for what 
what are the functions of these petals these petals are for attract okay to which insects so these petals attract insects for pollination and for nectar whenever the insects are get attracted by these petals the insects sit on these petals they have nectars and one main thing they help in these insects help in pollination so what have happened here whenever they sit on petals you can see the next part this one is i'll show you <clears throat> this one very tiny one uh, this one you can see see you know? these are the fem uh, male plants these are the male parts of the flower and these male parts are called stamens okay stamens you can see here one swollen swollen part that is called anther the fem uh, the male gametes are present in these anthers means pollen grains are the male gamete parts na? and uh, these uh, male uh, gametes are enclosed in this anther and the anther is attached with the flower is with this stalk like structure this is called filament okay so there are many anthers present you can see these black type structures na i'll put out all the uh, petals then you will easily see these uh anthers here there are lots of anthers in a flower anthers you can see pollen grains are enclosed in these anthers now you can see this black swollen parts na these are anthers and they contain pollen grains which are male gametes okay and now last part but not the least i'll show you here are some rose plants are one plant uh, flower which has lots of anthers male parts as well as lots of female parts means they have female part is called pistil okay so this one you can see now it's pinkish color whenever you uh, pluck a rose plant you can see different flowers na so these pinkish flowers are female parts and these female parts are called pistil and the pistil has three parts i'll show you the diagram later on the pistil has three parts uppermost part is somewhat swollen and that is called stigma below the stigma there is a cylindrical tube which is called style okay and the last one swollen part of female part is ovary where true fertilization takes place so whenever uh, uh, sticky insects sticky with what pollen grains whenever the pollen grains stick with the uh, insects body they fly to other plant and sit uh, sit on that plant the pollen grains shed off on the stigma of the pistil and there occurs pollination so the flower get down sorry the pollen grains get down to the ovary through style and in ovary there occurs the true fertilization male and female gametes join together and form ovules form zygote you can say in simple language okay so now i'll show you the diagram of of action of the flower now guys let's have a look of this diagram and the lower one this is stem or pedicel i have told you already pedicel and the green parts is sepals which bind together all the parts of the flower and these colorful parts are called petals which attract insects for pollination and these stalk like structures okay these are stamens means male part and stamens has two parts this swollen part is anther and the little stalk one is filament to filament is 
to attach the anther with the flower and here the comes here comes the female part which is called pistil pistil has three parts i, I have already told you that first uppermost part is stigma and that middle one part is style which is to help to help the pollen grains to go into the ovary and this pollen is ovary which has ovules and there occurs true fertilization okay now i'll show you the fresh flower which i have dissected so the fresh flowers parts so here you can see this stalk is pedicel okay and then i have put some sepals here these are sepals which are green of color and let's have a close look of stamens stamen this swollen part is anther and the stalk like structure is filament okay and then next is here comes ovary the female part of the flower do you can see not these pinkish color reddish pinkish colors these are what is this pistil and pistil has three parts one is stigma the swollen part you can see and after that this cylindrical part which is called style and here comes the swollen part and that one is ovary where occurs true fertilization okay so i hope you have all understood it the parts of flower very successfully very interesting way you also find that you have confident to tell your mom that you have now dissect a flower and you can easily tell which part of the flower it is okay so have fun with all this see you soon guys bye bye